Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial. On this channel automation step by step, I am going to start a new series on JMeter where I will discuss different tips and tricks of JMeter with you. So let us start the first episode of this series and today we are going to see what is new in JMeter 4.0. So let us first go to our browser and I will say here download JMeter and hit enter and it will take you to this JMeter website and from here you can click on download releases and as of now JMeter 4.0 is the latest version so you can go and download any of these zip files from binaries or source and then unzip it on your system so in my case I already have it downloaded and unzipped so I will go inside this jmeter 4.0 go inside bin folder and here I will find jmeter.bat let me just click on it and it should start our jmeter 4.0 so the very first thing that you will notice here is the look and feel of jmeter has changed and it is a very cool unique and a very clean looking jmeter so if you have seen the earlier jmeter it looked like this and now we have a very neat and clean looking JMeter with all these icons very beautiful icons here and uh, now let us see what are the new changes so of course the very first thing is the look and feel that you can see here and then you can also change this look and feel so if you go to the options menu here you will see look and feel and by default it opens in Dracula but then you can also change it to any other options here so that is the one of the big changes and then now jmeter 4.0 is supported on java 9 so they, this was a very frequent question that was asked to me by a lot of you that you are not able to use jmeter if you have java 9 on your system so now you can use jmeter with jmeter 4.0 with java 9 the other thing that you will uh, notice here is workbench is dropped so you will not see workbench as you would see in the earlier versions of jmeter so in the new jmeter jmeter 4.0 there is no workbench so what you can do is you can actually add non-test elements so whatever non-test elements you want to work you can add that and then you can use this in place of workbench so this is another change other thing is if you go to help menu here you will find some new options so if you go to help uh, you will find export transactions for report and then there is another option for useful links so you have release notes create an issue component reference documentation functional functions reference documentation and nightly builds all these are here so you can directly go to these pages from here so this takes you to this jmeter page and then if you go to help and useful links and then create an issue component reference nightly builds functional reference documentation all this you can go directly from jmeter so this is another change and let us look at what are the other changes are there so let us go to the jmeter web page and if you go to the release notes here let us click here and you will see this is for version 4.0 so you can see we have a new boundary extractor element available we have json extractor so if you go here and let us say if we add any sampler let me just add a thread group here first and i will add a sampler let us say http request and here if you go to post processors you have json extractor boundary extractor so all these are new in the coming sessions we will learn about these how to use them so let us go back and then we have all these new additions you can go through this the UI improvements are here so you have seen this is the new UI and then these are the new functions added and plugins there are some other bug fixes that you can go through and then other general new things and some improvements the other uh, thing you will notice is 
uh, jmeter will now save your test plan whenever you run it so this was one of the issues earlier that if you forget to save your test plan and if you accidentally close jmeter or something bad happens then you would lose your data so now jmeter saves your test plan whenever you run it so you do not have to worry about saving it every time and then by default the language is english but you can change the language as well so if you go to options and you go to choose language uh, by default it will open in english but then you can change the languages as well so these are some of the major changes and major improvements and uh, and new things in jmeter 4.0 in the coming sessions we will discuss more about these changes so if you like this video please hit the like button share it with others and also subscribe to automation step by step to keep receiving new videos on automation testing devops and ci that's all in this session i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching